Morning all. So I've dropped the tower down and I've fitted the uh, two element beam and the 40 metre, obviously single element rotatable dipole. And uh, don't excuse the noise in the background. Um, that's our friendly cocky. Okay, so this is what I've done. Basically, I'll just get a close up there, sorry. Um, just fitted all the wiring for the rotator. I've cable tied it up there, so, and uh, I'm trying to see, do this. I've left a fair bit of slack. Make sure you leave a bit of slack in the line, uh, in the wire harness, so to speak, uh, for any movement. Um, obviously, uh, it doesn't rotate off the lower point, it rotates off the higher point. Hence, that's why we've got a loop of wire between the mast and the antennas because obviously they rotate. Um, so I've just cable tied everything up um, and then insulation tape as well. Uh, we do have a problem with the uh, Corellas parrots over here. Um, I live opposite a park and um, yeah, sometimes I get to walk out there and find uh, 10, 10 parrots hanging off different parts of the antennas. They seem to quite enjoy it, bouncing around. They don't really do a lot of damage as such when there's two or three, but when there's a fair few, um, yeah, they can do a lot of damage and they just start biting things just for the hell of it. So I've got the rotatable dipole up there. I've got it as far away as I can from the, um, the beam. The SWR did move, uh, sort of expecting that. Um, so I've adjusted that. Obviously there's some sort of reflection um, between the two antenna systems. And um, so I had to adjust the uh, SWR to suit. Once I get it up in the air, uh, I'll do a final check before I just nail everything down, so to speak, and uh, button it up so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I can drop it down and just do any final adjustments. Obviously it's still going to move uh, once I, I place it in its vertical position uh, because the dynamics of the antennas are going to change. Uh, the dipole is going to remain fairly straight, um, but, but the beam itself will probably, the elements will, will sag down. So there, there may be a slight change there. So basically that's all I've done. Um, I've checked the uh, rotator. It's a really heavy duty dialer. Check the wind shear uh, rating or wind load rating of the of the rotator done some calculations and um, it looks like I'm well within the limits of the end of the uh, rotator um, you know some people say why don't you just mount it properly do a and use a uh, thrust bearing uh, give it consideration the antennas itself um, are not overly large so if I had gone to a tri-bander I probably would have done that that would have been a different scenario but for now everything seems to be working okay i have tested obviously the rotator um, and it seems to be working fine i've uh, used amalgamating tape uh, on all the joints and uh, also just uh, if you can see it here no like uh, insulation tape as well and down here i've used a bit of pvc pipe just to take the strain off the um the coax and and the top of the tower as well for the coax um, I have seen this done before and it's a really good idea uh, just cable tied it up look it's only there as a guide when the tower goes up and down the the, the cable will slide down because uh, of its sheer weight um, what else have I got I've got the rope ready um, somebody's going to be getting up on the roof and uh, pulling because these things it's amazing how much they weigh once you um put an antenna and a rotator on them. Yes, you do notice a difference. Uh, what else? I've checked all my um, cable clamps, uh, made sure everything's all done up properly. So there's no problems with anything slipping. You can see by the cable there, it's uh, fairly well clamped up. Uh, I use stainless steel cable clamps on everything uh, don't don't use the cheap gold ones if you get them um, you're asking for trouble 
just spend a few more dollars. And it's also a safety factor as well. If this thing comes down, um, luckily for me, I've got a, I'll get back here. I've got a fairly big backyard, fairly lucky in Australia. A lot of the older type houses, which I wanted, have really big backyards these days. It's the bloody opposite, really big houses and really small backyards. I think maybe that's sometimes where the hobby does suffer because people buy these houses and they, um, oh, geez, I can't put an antenna up or a tower. Um, a lot of the councils give people grief about doing things like this. I've done everything to spec on this tower. Um, all the footings were done properly. Um, used proper um, proper footings, uh, cement or concrete, as you'd probably call it. Um, so they're all done properly. There's one there, down there. Um, that was all done properly. We've actually got a tower. And there's one of the little friendly pink and grey galas over here that uh, are well known for causing a lot of trouble. Uh, not that one, she's uh, pretty friendly. So yeah, all the footings have been done properly. Um, I technically shouldn't be having that. Look, that's only just got my vertical on it. So there's no drama there at all. And there's Molly just saying hello. Um, yeah, so basically that's what I've done. I've double checked everything. Uh, everything's done properly. I've uh, done all the wiring. And yeah, hopefully it will go well. So in the next couple of days, I'll, uh, I'll be doing a a final check before I put it up once again. I'll check the rotator one more time and I'll check the uh, SWR on both the antennas, make sure that nothing's happened that shouldn't have happened. And um, hopefully all going well when I put it up, that'll be uh, that'll be it and I'll be able to uh, hook it up in uh, probably about a week or so. I've got a fair bit on at the moment and I've got a bit of plumbing to do, so to speak, with the wiring. Um, yeah, really glad I've got this LMR 400 um it's a really good really good cable on the coax so hopefully everything goes okay um yeah i'll post a video as soon as i can uh about the final results of the tower and then we'll move on oh yeah just there's just the extra coax down here just out of the way for now um we've got everything ready yeah so i'll post a video uh probably in the next couple of weeks uh about the final results of the uh both the antennas i'm quite looking forward to this uh i've only been using um oh we're going to see if you can see it up there on the roof it was a um canadian built mq 36 sr which is like a mini beam and um, that was from uh, 20 to 6 meters that worked really well um, and then i've got my dipole but uh, i expect this to work a lot better okay thanks for watching um 73s for now